I want to say it's alopecia um, is one of the main reasons why I went natural because it was like uh, um, early 2009 I had just come back from the salon I had my hair done had my little doobie and um, I know something kept telling me that check your hair check your hair and I went in the back um, of my head and I noticed that um, was a huge ball patch back of my head and it was like at that point in time maybe like circumference like around that size I started freaking first thing I started saying oh my god my sister was right it's a relaxer I'm gonna stop relaxing my hair I said I'm done and then I started getting really mad at the woman at the salon that does my hair thinking like why am I getting mad at her because I allowed her to do that to me so it wasn't like she forced me you know but I was just mad you know I was like mad because I'm thinking about well she probably saw that ball patch and she didn't tell me blah 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 blah, blah. so then I started um, looking for reasons like what what could have caused that ball patch and then I was uh, some of the researchers said that you know it could be the fungus that and the other and I had recently come back from a vacation so I was thinking maybe the hotel bedroom um, pillows weren't clean and then like they go to the gym and maybe I didn't put something done over the exercise mat and I got a fungus in my head but I finally went to a dermatologist and I found out due to a medical condition um, it's why my hair fell out it wasn't from the, the chemical or anything like that I mean granted my hair was definitely thin uh, because of using the relaxer for a prolonged period of time but it's not what caused that ball patch it was uh, some type of alopecia um, but it was immune system generated it wasn't like from like traction alopecia or anything like that as I got about four months into transitioning I just could not deal with the two different textures of hair like when I would wash my hair literally my hair would be coming out in the in the, in the shower and like dregs and I had to be like oh my god I'm gonna be bald you know like I'm so frustrated and, and then you know combing it was like you have like and then zip, and zip. I couldn't deal with that so I said you know what I can't transition I gotta go get this cut um, so I went to a salon where there was like a barber in there <laughs> so people were in the salon they were looking like is she gonna cut all her hair off she gonna cut all her hair off so it was very, very small, TWA. And I remember um, when he spun me around in the chair and I saw what I looked like, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I looked at myself, I was like, Ooh, oh my God, you know, what did I do? What am I going to do? Because now I can't even get the hair back. You know, I can't go back. <clears throat> so I was like, okay. Come on, we should get together, get together. You will deal with it, get together, and yeah, it'll, it, it'll happen. So I remember when I was on my way home, I'd called my husband. I was like, look, I cut my hair off completely. When I come in the door, I don't want to hear any negative. <laughs> I don't want to hear nothing. I don't even want you to look at me. Just leave me alone. Let me get used to it myself, right? So I came to the door. He was like, you know? So then I was like, oh, it's not that bad, Mom. It doesn't look that bad. But I could see in his face, like, he was just like, what the hell did she just do? And then my sons came downstairs and I was like, wow, what did you do? And they had known that I was going to uh, eventually cut my hair and that I was transitioning, but they didn't know the full ramifications behind the fact that Mom was going to come home with hair like that. So uh, my family at the beginning was kind of like not too supportive, I want to say. But then, you know, as time got on, they got used to it and um, I went upstairs and I was just like, I was just touching my head and I had like double emotions. Like I felt like, okay, uh, my hair is real short, I don't have any hair, but yet I don't feel like tied down. Like I kind of felt free from all. I was relieved. I was nervous because for one thing, my hair didn't look like how I thought it was supposed to look. You know how you look at these videos and say, oh, my hair, I want that hair, I want the hair. So you think when you cut your hair, your hair's going to be like that. And you know, all of a sudden you're like, <laughs> wrong. So I was a little bit I'm in like, that kind of a syndrome. I'm going to go someplace else. Like I'm going to learn how to do, take care of the hair like this. Like, 
and this is going to open you up to all kinds of different jewelry and accessories and da -da -da -da. so I started thinking about that and I was like you know what and products like I wasn't a product junkie when my hair was relaxed and I was like okay, now you gotta go and look for the right stuff for your hair so I, I was like saying things and thinking things I need, I need to do to make myself feel better you know and then the next morning when I woke up and I looked in the mirror, like my head was all smushed to my head. I was like, Jesus Lord. And it was so dry and it was so hard. I was like, whoo, you know? And I was, not that I was not happy, but I was just like, I felt like somebody was shuffling in the dark and didn't know where to go or what to do, you know? Um, and let's see, and then when I went to work, like, I had some of the co-workers, they were, like, really happy about it. And, like, oh, it looked, really suits you. But you had some of, like, the friends, not friends, but, like, some of the co-workers that were a little bit um, taken aback. Like, oh, you, you really did cut it. Because I did say I was going to cut it. You really did. Why would you cut all your hair off? The products that I used to use, any and everything. <laughs> I was, like, the biggest product junkie. I'd be in the store. Oh, yeah, I want that one. Oh, yeah, I want that one. Oh, you know, everything I saw I wanted. You know, but I used to use, mainly was, um... Giovanni's line, I use that. And I use Herbal Essence, I use that. Garnier Fructase, I use that. And then do all kinds of stuff. I was just like using it. And none of it was really, and at that time, believe it or not, I didn't like curly custard. That was the first product that my sister gave me when I first went out. She's like, here, use this product, it's great, you're gonna love it. But what she didn't tell me was once you put it in your hair, don't mess with it like just leave it alone so i'd be like touching my hair or if it wasn't dry i'd be trying to dry it with a towel and it would just like frizz up and look a hot damn mess <laughs> how i felt being completely natural oh once i figured out what to do with my hair i felt like you know what life is beautiful I, beautiful i used to wake up every day and like i can't wait to see how my hair's gonna react today i can't wait for this i can't i was just like so excited like so bubbly and just like oh mm, so enthusiastic just like I still am today. And do I have any regrets about going natural? I want to say, yeah. My biggest regret is I wish I had done it sooner.